Hey and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm showing you how to style and customize your menu with the help of Jet Menu plugin. So, once you've got your menu structure ready and you want to proceed to styling and customizing it, first of all, make sure that you have enabled Jet Menu for current location. Then press save and save your menu. Then proceed to the Jet Menu settings on your navigation panel. And here you're going to see some general jet menu settings that include the animation settings, the behavior and the style settings as well. So here you can style the menu container, main menu items, the sub menu items, etc. Also the mobile menu, some advanced settings include the icon settings, badge and drop down arrow settings, and also a presets manager where you can manage, save, update and delete your style presets. Once you apply any changes, don't forget to save your progress and go to the front end to see all the changes that you have applied. But if you're using Elementor Pro or Jet Theme Core plugin, you can also use Elementor Editor to style and customize your menu and see all the changes you apply in real time. So now I am in Elementor Editor and I go to Elements, scroll down and find the Mega Menu widget. I'll drop it onto a new section and select the menu. Right, I'm using the default style preset and I'm going to start with it. Now what we need to do is to click on the widget and go to style tab and we see all these same style settings that we've got in here on our dashboard in the jet menu settings. Let's start off with the menu container where you can choose the alignment of your items, the background type, the border radius and some more settings. Now there go the main menu item settings where you can change the color, some typography settings and the behavior and style of your links on hover and in the normal and active state. So these were the settings for the main menu items. So for the items that your menu container has and then only go to sub menu settings. You see the settings for a simple panel, which is a simple drop down menu that contains a list of items and the mega panel that includes the settings for the mega menu like this one. And here have pretty much all the same settings for the container, like the background type, the border radius, and also some menu item style. You can tweak the look and the behavior of the items on normal, hover and active states. And you've got all the same settings for the mega menu panel. The next tab is the mobile menu settings and to have a look at them, let's go to the mobile view and as you see, there is a little icon that opens up your menu when you click on it. Like that. And what you can do here is to change the look of this little thing. Okay, let's go back to the desktop view and proceed to having a look at the other settings. Here we have the icon settings on both the top level and the sub level. So you can change the size, margin, the position and the order of your icons. On the top level and on a sub-level. The same applies to the badges and to the arrow, which is this one, this little arrow next to your items that have some items underneath them. And that's pretty much it for the settings that you can apply 
to your menus with the help of Jet Menu plugin. Thank you for watching. If this video helped, leave us your thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.